Hi everyone, welcome to today's video and as you saw by the title, today I'll be talking about how I got into USC grad school at only 19 years old. If you're new here, hi, my name is Brianna and I'm so glad you found my channel. So for those of you that haven't seen any of my other videos or aren't familiar with who I am, I will be a fourth year this upcoming fall at the University of Southern California, USC, and I'm majoring in environmental studies for undergraduate school, but I'm also a graduate student in the environmental studies master's program. And the thing is, I was able to work towards both degrees because of a specific program that USC offers. So for a brief overview, USC has progressive degree programs, which are programs that allow undergraduate students at USC to also pursue a master's degree while in undergrad. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to complete both um, curriculums at the same time. It's, there's flexibility there. But the point is, this is unique to USC undergrad. If you're a USC undergraduate student or a high school student thinking about what schools they want to apply to, I would keep USC in mind because of this specific program. It's a huge advantage if you do get into the program because it offers many benefits. I'm gonna talk about my process and how I found out about it, how I applied when I got in and what I, what stage I am at in the program right now. So pretty much I found out about the program in my fall semester sophomore year. And I found out that there was these degree programs that, are, were, on, that were offered to USC students and that allowed them to pursue a master's degree while they were in undergrad. And at the time I was a double major, so Pretty much I added a second major because I came into USC with a lot of transfer units from taking college classes and AP classes while in high school, which is something you should think about if you want to get ahead during high school for college. Keep that in mind. So although I was a sophomore at that point, I had junior standing. But the point is that the application required you to be no more than a junior and I was just cutting that line. And I found out about the application a couple, a month or two before the deadline. So I really had to get on it and submit it. I think it was due during November. It was really simple. It was an application asking about all your like personal information, you know, the typical application process, two letters of recommendation and a like four year plan, not four year plan, but like a plan in terms of like how many units you've completed for undergrad, how many units you will be completing while also being a graduate student if you get into the program. And, and that's all to consider your financial aid and how possible finishing both programs will, would be for you. Oh, and something I didn't mention about the application process, it slipped my mind. It's so much easier because there are no entrance exams. There was no GRE or anything. Because if you think about it, if you're already a USC undergraduate student, you really don't have to prove yourself besides your GPA and your coursework and the grades you get to be considered an adequate fit for the master's program within the school that you're already attending. So that was one of the bonuses. I didn't take any exams. I totally forgot to mention that. Since I was choosing a master's program that was directly connected to my undergraduate studies, it was a lot easier for, more, for me to apply because there was, no, there was no real hesitation as to whether I would be able to complete the degree, the master's degree, within a, a doable time. Anyways, at least that's what my graduate advisor told me and she said, she actually told me before I submitted the application not to worry about it because being an undergraduate environmental studies student applying for a master's in environmental studies, it just makes perfect sense for, you, for me to be in the program. So I was really happy about that. So after submitting the application in the fall of my so second year of college, um, the May following, so the end of second year of school, I received an email actually, it wasn't a formal letter. I think I, I might have received a, a formal letter later on, I just can't remember. But the email pretty much said, congratulations, you're being registered into the master's program for environmental studies at USC. And then from there, it was up to me to decide whether I wanted to do both degrees at the same time or finish my undergraduate degree first and then do my graduate studies. And I chose to do both at once for financial aid reasons. And if you guys would like to know how I was able to squeeze my graduate 
courses, some of my graduate course requirements into my undergraduate financial aid um, eligibility. Um, please comment down below if you'd be interested in part two for this video and I'll be happy to do so. And also, since you're already doing that, please leave a like. From there, I had the option of the following fall, the first semester of my third year, to take some classes that were also graduate, that were graduate requirements. And I chose not to. I just completed undergraduate requirements. And then the spring semester of my junior year, I took half my classes undergraduate and half of them being graduate classes. And I was a actually the undergraduate classes I took, I was able to plan it out with my advisor and she recommended I take specific undergraduate classes because they also counted for my graduate coursework. So if you are applying for the program or interested or already in the program, I would talk to your advisor, your graduate or and undergraduate advisor and ask them if there's any courses that count for both undergraduate requirements and graduate requirements because you can save so much time and money you know, just choosing the right course. Well, actually, right now I finished my junior year and I'm looking forward to starting my last, my fourth year at USC and I will be finishing my last undergraduate course this upcoming fall, which I'm really looking forward to. And I will be finishing graduate requirements and hopefully graduating from the master's program next year. I want to pause and clarify that in no way this is me trying to brag. I start discussing the benefits that I gained from the program and what I did and am doing to graduate early. This is to show that anyone is just as capable of doing the same thing. After all, this video is meant to be informative and show what is possible. Now, enjoy the rest of the video. And in terms of my studies, I'm actually finishing early, a lot earlier. Technically, my undergraduate coursework should have taken four years and my graduate coursework a year and a half because the environmental studies program doesn't run in terms of master's classes, doesn't run during the summer. I It was pretty much going to be a year and a half. So in, in total, it would have been five years and a half to finish both of my degrees. If everything continues to go well, I will be graduating in only four years. And that's all thanks to the fact that I took summer classes during high school. I took college courses during while, like during the actual academic year in high school. I took AP classes and I took a couple summer college classes while already attending USC at a community college and I was able to transfer that. If I think about it now, I'm graduating a year and a half early with my two degrees and I couldn't have be prouder of my past self. Like I would definitely make that decision again. Like if I had the choice to go back in time and relive high school and have the whole fun experience, I wouldn't choose that. It might not make sense at the, at the time or it might not make sense to someone a lot younger than me, but being able to graduate college early is such a blessing and make it makes me just so happy to just be able to start my career. At this moment for me, it, there could have been no better option. If I had the choice to go back in time and relive high school and have the fun experience, I would not choose that for the one I already had. I might have been very dedicated to my studies and always looking for the way to get ahead, but that is what led me now to be in the position I am and have the opportunity to graduate school early with a master's degree. I knew I always wanted to go to graduate school. I, that was like my top cho top goal, like going at least getting my graduate degree and I would have been done with my college um, studies. And I'm just so happy that I'll be able to graduate such a young age and be able to apply that knowledge that I have gained into my career so soon in my life. I thought I was going to be like 24 by the time I finish all my um, studies. It's up to you. It's what you value and what you want. Like not everyone is the same and I totally respect that. But the point of this video is to provide information and be helpful. So if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. I get I answer all my comments, so I'll get to you. And if you want a part two with questions, like having a Q&A on this specific topic or anything else about school, USC, college advice, anything like that, go ahead and leave it down below. And if you like the video, please leave it a like. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. That really helps me and allows my channel to grow and I would really appreciate it. And I think that's it for now. I'll see you guys soon and remember, Always keep it real. Bye.